Our next guest is a Grammy Award-winning country music superstar. Her latest album, My Gift, is available now. And her holiday special, My Gift, a Christmas special from Carrie Underwood, is currently streaming on HBO Max. Let's take a look. Please welcome back to the show, Carrie Underwood. How are you, Carrie? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, it's been a very long time. The last uh, time we crossed paths six years ago, you were here with, uh, with our friend Brad Paisley. It's been too long, been too long. Too long, I imagine you've recorded a lot of Christmas songs over the years. This is the first time you've done a full album. I imagine this is a milestone of sorts for, for any music artist. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if you have a decently long career, it's probably somewhat inevitable you'll do something like this. It's always been um, on my musical bucket list. Um, but this year just seemed like the perfect year to do it. I mean, it seemed like the perfect year before 2020 became what it became. But especially in the midst of it, um, it was just nice to be able to to create positive um, positive music and put positive, happy, peaceful, joyful vibes into the world. I do think because, you know, it's such a family holiday, I think we like when we hear Christmas songs from people we already know. And it, uh, another thing that that's the case for me with you is I feel great warmth and comfort when you sing the uh, Sunday Night Football song. And uh, <laughs> I'm so happy that uh, football is back. And I'm wondering, do you, uh, do you ever watch the games? Do you ever see yourself introduce the, uh, the Sunday Night uh, Slate? I do. Um, it, it is comforting to have those things that you can count on, like holidays, like Sunday Night Football. <laughs> um, it's been so much fun being able to do the Open, and, and we do watch football as much as we can. I do have two small children who kind of take over the, uh, the television occasionally, so sure, we don't sure. always get to watch what we want. Um, but we watch as much football as we can. And it was so much fun, um, actually not too long ago, we were all sitting on the couch and the open came on and my five-year-old was like, that's you. That's like, are, are you in this show? I was like, no, I'm, I'm not in the show. I just introduce, you know, the game. And he, it was hard for him to grasp why I was singing about football. Um, when I wonder playing. about this. We have a photo of, of you and your son. This is your son, Isaiah is your older son? Yes. Yeah. And he actually appears in your special. You got him to sing one of the Christmas songs with you. Was uh, he enthusiastic about this? He was. Um, he loves music. He loves to sing. Um, I, I, I asked him, you know, I didn't want to force him to do anything. And I was like, I don't know what we're going to get out of, um, out of this day. But if nothing else, he just came to work with me, gets to see what I do. Um, but he did such a great job. He, he showed up like ready to work and um, he was just throwing his hands in the air. And it was, it was such a magical day for me just as a mom, getting to share what I love with him, um, but he did such a great job. How, uh, I would imagine, uh, my kids are great. I got a four and a half year old. I would give him about 30 minutes before he was not providing anything of use. How, how long did Isaiah provide high quality work for you? Uh, he did a pretty good job. I could see towards the end his, you know, it's like I saw drums in the other room and I really want to go play those instead of being in here <laughs> singing with you. Um, but we got enough um, and, and he, I think he would have come back later if we needed him to, but we, we did not. That's great. Um, I'm uh, very impressed with uh, something you did. I, you know, every year I ask my wife, is there something you want for Christmas? And she says, oh, either don't get me anything or whatever you think. I'm very impressed. You told your husband what you wanted for Christmas and he came through, correct? Yes, he did. And what did uh, you I want? Wanted, uh, I, I wanted cows. I grew up with cows and I love them. They're like big dogs to me. They're probably my, my favorite animal if I had to pick one. Um, and I've always wanted them. So when he said, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, cows. Get me two just pet, useless <laughs> cows. Now, I will admit that if Alexi asked me to do that, I would not uh, have any sense of of what the next step is to buy cows. Mm -hmm. How quickly uh, did your husband manage to procure the, the cows? 
he slapped some Wranglers on and <laughs> put his hat on and he was at the sale like two days later. Um, he, he was like, I didn't know what was happening. The guy was talking real fast. He was an auctioneer. Um, and he said, I, I don't know what happened. I think we got females. <laughs> I'm not sure, uh, but we just raised our little paddle a couple times, and next thing you know, they're loading up two cows to bring home. They were, they were, they are ladies. Mm -hmm. I but, would imagine uh, this outcome for cows at auction is is about as good as you can do to end up in in Carrie Underwood's backyard as opposed to where else. That's you could be. why I wanted them. He was like, "Where where does one get cows?" And I was like, "There's auctions all the time." I said, "Go get some." If it looks like it'd make a good burger someday, <laughs> bring her home. Well, that is a, a Christmas different. miracle. I feel like Let I need to say that. She will, they will never be. They're just pets. They're just, uh, they're just looking at cows. You're very lucky yeah. to have those. Uh, we're very lucky to have you, and thank you so much for sticking around and doing a song for us. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you, yeah.